Today my job is to fix this aerator on the faucet here. It's gotten a bunch of minerals on it and I've got some tips and tricks to help you so you can get it off of there without causing problems. They're easy to damage. And as you can see, this one, the stream isn't coming out. It's all split up. And yeah, wife is complaining, so time to take care of it. The first thing not to do is get out your pliers and grab hold of this and twist because you, I guarantee you'll rip it up. If it's plastic, you'll probably crack it. If it's brass, you'll probably deform it, put it out around, and then it won't want to go back on there. So let's, uh, let's try something else first. The first thing to try is your fingers. Now I've already tried it and I can't get it off of there. I've waited too long and the minerals have built up. So, <clears throat> not gonna happen. My next favorite thing is to use one of these, just the thing to remove the jar lids and to give you some grip on here. And, ah, got it. Um, you can see I need to do some cleaning. So this almost always works, unless you've just completely let it get out of control. And you're saying, okay, what happens if you, this, this fails, the pot opener fails? Okay, well, let me show you that. That's kind of a last resort. If you decide you really, really, really must use your pliers, then get something that's very substantial, like this is a piece of plastic tubing, it's soft and it'll do a pretty good job of getting a grip on here. And you can get around it like this. Um, and make sure you don't grab the brass. And you do not want to squeeze hard while you're doing this. Absolutely use the minimum grip necessary. Um, if you don't have a plastic tube, I have used uh, a lot of wrappings of damp paper, something like that, but again, this is high risk. When you, you're in the heat of the moment, you're going to squeeze hard to get a grip on there and you'll probably deform or crack that. So not a good idea. Okay, let me show you what's going wrong with this and what you have to do to clean it up and get it back on there. Once you've got this off of here, one of the things you need to take note before you start disassembling it of the order stuff comes off because it's really, really, really important to put it back in exactly the same way or you will have some really weird results. <laughs> Water will come spraying out of places you never thought it could. Okay, so first I'm going to remove the washer. Okay, and now we can see the problem. I do not know how, but we're always getting something in the water. You know, we have filters on the incoming water. I have a couple different types of filters, sedimentation filter and so on. But we still manage to get little stuff in the in the uh, traps here, in the strainers, uh, the aerators. So I need to clean that out and let me disassemble it a little bit more. Usually you can give it a push on the bottom and it will come out, the insides will come out. But again, you would really, really, really want to keep track of the order in which stuff comes out of there. I need to clean that up inside of there too. And this style does not come apart, which is good. So all I need to do is I'm going to use a toothbrush. And you can see some of this stuff is already coming off. It seems to be... What is that? Huh, can't tell. Like little pieces of rock, almost like cement. Something must have gotten in the pipes when the house was made. So I'm going to brush it out with a toothbrush and rinse it a lot and both sides here and here. Now a lot of times this top screen will come off of there and this bottom screen will come off of there. Again you want to make sure you put them back on exactly the same way. Okay, let me get my toothbrush out and scratch on it. All I'm going to do is run the water here a little bit and kind of tap at this to remove any pieces that are in there. Both sides. 
check these side pieces. Scrape out any minerals that have built up. Yeah, looking pretty good already. You also want to clean this off. And if you have any uh, food grade grease, that might be a, a good thing. Some plumbing uh, grease that's food grade that won't uh, poison you. The safest thing to use is your fingernails. I use my fingernails on a lot of stuff, which is why I don't have ever have any fingernails. But uh, yeah, I use it for scraping paint off of wood and uh, scratching this stuff off of here. It's not really good for your fingernails, but it's about the safest thing I've ever found to use on just about everything. And the other thing is I got a brass brush here. So I've been working that a little bit. And I'm gonna have to scrape the inside of this with something. But you do not wanna remove the, the uh, chromium plating off of here, because if you do, it will corrode much faster, which looks bad, and the minerals will build up a lot faster. So let me work this a little bit, and then I'll come back. So I've been working this mostly with my fingernails and I went down and got my smaller brass brush because I needed it to clean around here. So you definitely want to clean the threads uh, around here also, get them, get all the minerals off of that. You can see I've been working that. Again, mostly with fingernails and brass brush. So let's do a close up on this and I can show you uh, where it is now. Okay, that's it. Not too terrible. Took, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes. And I got most of it out of there. And as you can see, no serious damage. Again, you wanna use a brass brush. Don't use a steel brush. Um, and don't use like something like a knife to scrape on it, or you'll leave it, you'll leave it a mess. Okay? So let's assemble it and put it back on there and make sure it works. Well, as we need to remember, this thing went with this, uh, screen, metal screen down like that and you need to seat it in there without damaging it. It's plastic so if I push on it really hard I can break it. Put the washer back in there and seat it all the way around like that. And now we put it on there and give it a test. Okay, you want to make sure you don't cross thread this. You want to get it on here real squarely. And one of my tricks is I turn it backwards until I hear the click like that. And then I know the threads are aligned. And then I can secure it on there. And there we go. That's as good as it gets. Okay, well that's fixing your sink aerator. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your home DIY projects.